Hey, what's up, YouTube land? It's your boy, Eddie Hill, the Pennsylvanian toy collector himself. And it's time for another Eddie Hill review. It's review time, people. And today we'll be reviewing some Ben 10 figures. But before we do that, we're going to kick off a little montage. Because I'm reviewing figures from the original Ben 10. Why wouldn't I do a little montage to this video? And this is a Ben 10 Ultra, Ben 10 Ultimate Alien Ultra Matrix. Sorry if I have to correct myself there. Because I don't have the original Ben 10 Omnitrix, but I do got an Ultimate Alien Omnitrix. Which, that's why this is on this review. But now we're going to look at our Ben 10 figures. Starting with... Yours truly... Ben 10 Heat Blast. And he looks pretty well sculpted for a fire rock alien, if I do say so myself. You can see the image for, for the Omnitrix on his chest. Sure, it's a little bit worn. I got this figure from Steel City Con with that one. So sometimes when you get figures from the conventions, they do get a little worn in certain places. But the paint and the articulation of the figure has, has survived its rough ordeal with the uh, symbol for, for the Omnitrix. You get bend at the knee with this old school figure, which I do like. You get backwards bend due to posability. You get a lot of posability in the legs, but no... No ball-jointed shoulders. You can see it's got two screws, some screws in the back to secure everything together on this old-school figure. Which was the case with these figures. I never got the, uh, ben, the newer Ben 10 stuff. But I do like the old-school Ben 10 figures. And I loved Heat Blast because he was awesome on fire. And he literally shot fireballs and could fly on his little piece of earth, which was pretty cool. Next, we're going to look at another Ben 10 figure, and this is Diamond Head. And I couldn't help but say his name. He doesn't have as much articulation as Heat Blast. And these heads, heads don't have any ball joints, just a rotation joint. And you get bend at the knee with diamond head, which is really nice. I love that. The sculpting is really well done. Sure, you see some, some attempted yellow markings on him. Maybe he got that from whoever owned him before I had him. But otherwise, this figure looks pretty cool. Really well sculpted. Really well painted. I love it. And that chin is really well done. I'd have to say, for old school Ben 10 figures that I never had as a kid because I never collected any of these, they are awesome. Would I recommend these if you like Ben 10? 
Yes, pick them up. I probably watched like the original Ben 10 series up to Ben 10 Alien Force and Ultimate Alien. That's as far as my Ben 10 watching went and then into Ben 10 Omniverse. And that's about it for me for Ben 10. Highly recommend these figures. If you love Ben 10, pick them up if you can find them for less than uh, five bucks or around like one or two dollars. They are worth it. But I got these from the convention, I think, for about two dollars. From Monroeville Still City Con. And that's all there is to say for this review. If you like this video, make sure to like, make sure to comment, and don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this. And this is Eddie Hill, moving on and rock on and rock out.